Hello, 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 family. Welcome back to the Wrapped in Scraps channel, guys. Welcome back to our Vlogmas Days, friends. We are on vlog. Oh, I can't even talk. We're on Vlogmas Day 20. We are just pushing right on through. I hope you guys all having a wonderful day. I hope you've been getting some shopping in. Hope you've been getting some rest in, some mental health meditation in, all the good things you might need. Now, look, as you can see, we are in the store again. Why? Well, because I have a lot of kids and a beautiful grandbaby that I'm shopping for. So, I'm pretty much done with all my shopping, but you guys know how it is. You know, you just kind of got to get out there and just kind of see what else is out there. Um, my little juicy grandchild just started walking. She's toddling about looking like a little baby Chucky with juicy legs and little bow leg, just a little bit. And I'm just really excited that she's walking. So I'm out and about uh, trying to see what I can find for her as well as pick up a few more things for the girls. And I am still looking for curtains, guys. Yes, we are still hunting for curtains. I've been to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I've been to At Home. I've been to JC Penney's. I've been to Macy's. I have been around the world, yeah, 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 and still can't find no curtains, okay? And it is now becoming a nuisance, irritating issue for me. So I'm probably going to have to go on Amazon. I was trying not to go on Amazon, but I'm going to probably have to go on Amazon. But nonetheless, as you can see, we are in the store at this point. We are in, I believe we're in TJ Maxx. And um, just checking out all their decor. Um, I found a little pregnant baby doll here that I'm going to be giving for one of my girls. Because one of my girls is fascinated with pregnancies because my daughter had a baby. And after she saw the whole baby grow in her belly and then come out, she just just after that couldn't tell her nothing she puts um half easter eggs on her baby's bellies with tape to make them all pregnant okay so that's just where we are with that um look at this little cute decanter set i thought this was so cute and i almost got it for my room guys but i didn't but I, I might go back and get it but anyhow we went to all the places i just named as well as the mall and so you guys I also went to big lots and i wanted to just kind of see their fireplaces because you know i do have a guest room and been considering putting a um, electric fireplace in the guest room so just checking a few out of course i'm not gonna find one that's as good as a price as the one i just got from the habitat of resale store but you know we just can look and of course i was looking for curtains <laughs> and a throw rug um for in front of my faux fireplace in the live in the uh master bedroom that i just purchased so just hunting you guys i was hunting down some curtains what curtains am i looking for you may ask well i'm looking for some all black almost like velvety and or satin looking curtains and that are 94 uh, inches long cannot find them here we are in william sonoma and you guys william sonoma is one of my favorite stores this is where i bought the all clyde um multi cafe that i rave about also where i get my um turkey brines and other little uh little bits here and there for cooking you know all my different soups and stocks and broths and all that jazz come from William Sonoma a lot of my seasonings come from William Sonoma and if you have never tried them friend um go ahead close your eyes to the price and go ahead and get yourself something okay get yourself something if nothing else make sure you get that vanilla bean paste right before Thanksgiving hopefully they have some in stock when you go all right here back in a bun, you guys. Um, I just it's been quite a day. I've been all over the place. I've been to malls, I've been to different stores trying to finish up my Christmas shopping. I'm getting ready to get the kids, and when I get back, we're gonna start dinner. We're gonna be doing the chicken pot pie. So I did a door dash for some um pie crust because I couldn't find any at my little local store, and I just didn't feel like driving way down the hill and all that comes with that traffic, people, attitudes emotions and me being tired so we're gonna bring that to us um i got some stuff on the bed that i just purchased i'll show you guys that when i get back because when i get back i'm throwing on some pajamas some little slippers take my hair out of this bun because i have like the worst headache right now for whatever reason and i notice i have more headaches if my hair is in a bun so i'm gonna take that out and so i might look a little crazy i apologize in advance and we're gonna go get our babies Let's go get our babies. I bought them some little candy necklace. Do you guys remember these? If you are 80s baby or mid 70s and up, you might remember these. Well, these are like the improved candy necklace. These are all thick and they look good. I should have got one for me. Anyhow, 
All right, you guys, so I'm back from getting the girls. Um, they're arguing by the front door because they don't want to have to put up other shoes or whatever, whatever situation's going on. Got the groceries there. We're gonna be making chicken so I got my chicken thighs because that's what I like to use. My cream of chicken, I got three of those. Got me some chime, some rosemary, some garlic, some vegetables, a salad to go with it. And then I had to door dash some stuff because I couldn't find it nowhere. Well, not this, but. So I'm gonna go upstairs, jump in the shower, make myself look better than what I look right now. Take this hair tie out and um, I'll be back down here in a little right. bit with y'all. Going in with our seasonings. Okay. This is just what I like to put on my um, chicken. Got some salt. Got some roasted garlic, rosemary. We're gonna be adding some more rosemary, by the way, just so y'all know, okay? We're going to mix this all up real good. Some rosemary. Here's our rosemary. We're gonna start putting our chicken in there, okay? Just lay it in there. It doesn't have to be specially perfect because we just wanted to cook. I'm gonna throw our rosemary in there. Let's just lay that one on top of the rosemary. Let's go ahead and slide that in. Now we've got it on 350. So you guys, I got a few things from Bath and Body Works. It's actually more than this, but um, I want y'all to see some here. See the price was 125, and I paid zero. And that's because I had. You know, when you buy so much, they give you coupons. So I had 10 of them to get an item that was um, $16.50 or more. So I got some of Honey's Faves. Got this Stress Relief Aromatherapy um, Body Lotion. Aromatherapy Lavender Vanilla Sleep Body Washing Foam Bath. Um, foam Bath. So I'll probably use these two today since those match. And this one is the eucalyptus and spearmint. Now I wanna use this one for the pillows. So you're supposed to spray this like on your pillows or on your body, well, on your body, but. So that's the other one we got there. And there's some other stuff, but I put it in some gifts. So yeah, that's what we're working with. Got honey some pajamas. <laughs> See if I can spread them out. Cause I've been buying us pajamas, but I haven't bought honey any yet. His just has like this bear on there, you know. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wrapped and Scraps channel. Friends, family, we're gonna be doing some cooking today. We're gonna be making a chicken pot pie. I'm gonna just show you a little bit, some odds, ends, odds, oohs, ends, out of it. It's a real, real quick video. Um, I'm relaxing now. I took my shower, like I told y'all. I feel better. I just had to make myself look a little bit more presentable before Honey came home, because I don't like for my honey to come home and I'm looking like too busted, unless I'm really sick or something. Or I'm just having a hard day. But if I'm not, I don't like to look busted. It's just, that's just me. So we um, put the little chicken pie pie stuff together. All right, you guys. So after I took my shower, I went straight into cooking. I took the chicken out. It was done. I chopped it up. Added some cream of chicken and the vegetables and some chicken stock. Mixed it all up after putting the pie crust in the little... Um, ceramic with a little bit of olive oil so that it wouldn't stick in the oven we're gonna be waiting for it all right Ooh. there it is it's coming along now what i did as you guys saw um i'll be inserting the video that i put the rosemary the thyme i seasoned the chicken really well i used chicken thighs as you see in the video and um i cooked the chicken first then when the chicken came out I chopped up the chicken. I put it in with the cream of chicken. Okay, some not some chicken broth, but some chicken stock. Okay, went with the chicken stock. Mix that up real, real good. And then I used some Pillsbury um, roll, like pie crust rolls. And I just used that because I'm horrible at making pie crust for some reason. So I used that. Hopefully it'll come out good. 
and we're waiting. Oh, and I have to um, throw this little salad together real quick. Now, I did pick up some um, some drinks, like drink drinks, right, from the store. Gentleman's Jack, one of my faves, okay? Like, you know, regular store stock fave. Gentleman's Jack. It's like Jack Daniels, but it is Jack Daniels, but it's Jack Daniels kicked up a notch, okay? And then, of course, you guys know... We got to keep the grandma on stock. In case you haven't seen another one that I like, it's 72. Okay. In case you've ever seen this one. That one's good. And supposedly my uncle drinks this one. And this one is called Woodford Reserve. And this is supposedly good with some ice. So those are some of the ones that we are taking in this house. Okay. And we're going to finish cooking up some things. I'm going to finish the grandma I have in here. Yes, I got some in here. You won't catch me slipping and being without none. That's not going to happen. <clears throat> but I'm going to light the fire, put a log in the fireplace, wait for this chicken pot pie to finish. And then I got a tray too. Like, Let me show you. Like cheese and crackers. So I took one roll of crackers off and one meat of salami and pepperoni off and put it in the refrigerator because they're not going to eat that. But we have one bacon, smoked bacon cheese balls right here. There's paper over there. And I'm just going to put it in the living room or on the edge of the table where they can get to it. Well, on the edge of this table because we don't need them in our living room eating. But um, just so they can get to it and, snuck, and kind of munch on it after dinner if they're hungry or want something. I feel some other stuff. Honey already has some of his drink. And so now I'm going to clean up this mess. Guess I could put a couple of cookies out there too. I bought some double stuffed cookies. And I'm gonna clean up this mess really quickly. And then we're gonna light the fire and that'll be All it. Right, you guys, so here is the chicken pie pie. Just came out of the oven, nice golden brown. We're gonna cut into it and see what we get. There we go. A little crispy. So it's not gonna be very doughy. Again, I use the Pillsbury dough crust. So we should see. This is my first time using it. I'll let y'all know if it's a yay or nay. Okay. So it's not gonna be a very um how do you say thick crust. Um see here. What we working with. trying to get the bottom part oh that's not bad so as you can see it turned out pretty good the crust isn't super thick but next time we'll get a better crust all right you guys so some time has passed dinner has come and gone grandma yay has come and gone we completely abandoned the puzzle um the chicken pie pie was pretty good the girls liked it honey liked it i liked it um i'm downstairs now cleaning up some of our mess because we were just upstairs, just hanging out. Fire's still going, but it's kind of dying out, as you can see. And I'm gonna clean up our little mess that we left down here. And I'm gonna go upstairs and watch Art Finio Country Style. I start to clean up my kitchen a little bit. And that will be today's Vlogmas, you guys. We're gonna wrap those gifts tomorrow. So I got several things I got to show you tomorrow. Tomorrow's an early day for my girls, so I got to pick them up. But um, we still got a lot of things to do. So I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 20, a little snippet of my day today. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm getting ready to clean up this kitchen, clean my mess, and probably go to bed early. I know it's like 8 o'clock. I know. But you guys, I'm a night owl. I'm up all night sometimes. Sometimes... I'll wake up at 2.30 to usually 3 a.m. on the dot. And I'm up until about 5.30. And then I'll lay down for an hour and then get back up at 6.30. So, you know, I have to get some sleep. Today was a long, busy day. So I'm going to clean my kitchen. I hope you guys had a great day as well. I will see y'all tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 21. We are getting close. We are almost there, friends. Um, remember to stay wrapped in scraps. Me, we purpose, we cycle, we use all parts of your life, okay? Remember to stay loving you because you can't love anyone else properly if you don't love you. Remember to stay loving God. Stay loving life because you are blessed to still be here living it. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's Vlogmas Day 21. All right? Bye, guys.